they, so they slash their throat open with a sharp knife? Yeah, it has, it has to be like this. Okay. That's and you think that this is ethical? Yes. Yeah. Eating animals' food, yeah? Hey, Why is that? You're eating animals' yeah. food, yeah? No, no, no. Why, why? Because they eat plants? Yeah. Hey, brother. Hey. What you do? Oh, yeah. We were showing people um, UK uh, slaughterhouses and farms, you know? Trying yeah. to get people to stop paying for it, you know what I mean? Paying for what? Well, when you buy like a meat, dairy, and eggs, you're supporting this industry's cruel to animals. So we're asking so people. How to... can I eat? Yeah. Well, you have you heard of a vegan? Yeah, I heard of it. You heard of vegan? Like you don't like it? Yeah, it's fine. But like, wait, wait, wait. My main diet. Like, what do you? What's your main diet? Meat. Meat. But yeah, you against animal cruelty. Are you against cruelty to animals? Yeah, but yeah, not like this, of course. That's why I eat halal. Halal? Yeah. yeah. So what, what's halal? Halal is not slaughtering like this and okay. you know so ha killing them in the right way how are they raised how are halal animals even, raised even even a, she a sheep when you when we kill a sheep we close his eyes so he don't see i've seen this is orthodox halal slaughter yeah this is how you do halal. i know they don't see each and other then you kill it. Then, and how do, how do they kill it they kill it in one like only what? one so what with one time what do they kill them with with uh, like a good knife so they, one, they he, he will not feel anything. He just they, so they slash their throat open with a sharp knife. Yeah, it has it has to be like this. Okay. That's and you think that this is ethical? Yeah. yeah. Why why uh, why God created like sheep and you know all of these animals? Well, to, well I to don't. Us to eat them. You know? God created these animals so yeah, you can eat so them. So for what? So why did why did Everything God? Everything for reasons. Different well, ideas. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, 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 I'm, I'm familiar with um, yeah. religious arguments as well. Like, yeah, a, yeah. like I, I think you can be a Muslim and not eat animals. No one said you had to. Yeah, you can, you can I'm not. That. I don't. I, like, I'm not. I, I don't have. Like, I'm not. I, I'm not have to eat animals. You know. Yeah. But I like to. You, I, I, I like to as well. Yeah. I like to eat steak and burgers as well. But I, I don't know. You know what I mean? Because uh, I, I think it's wrong to, to rob someone of their life for a five minute meal when I can eat plants now and uh you yeah know. but it's not good for you you know what I'm saying it's to not good yeah yeah to build muscles oh uh, wait 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 how do you know muscle to build muscles yeah you can be no 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 you can you can build I can, muscle okay I can build muscle muscles with vegan diet but I need to eat a lot you know no no saying? no no you can get you can get how many how many grams of protein do you need a, uh, say 300, a day 300 three you don't need 300 grams how, how, how much you weigh 80, 80 kilos? Yeah, almost 80. Nah. I don't know. The last time. You need, I think you need about a, a gram of, of protein per pound. So you need about 150, 160 grams of protein a day. You can get that no, easier. No, I, I want to increase my weight. Yeah, you don't need 300 grams of protein, but you could get 300 yeah. grams of protein as a vegan, Why? but you don't need it. You don't, you know, I, I need to eat a lot, you know what I'm saying? No, not necessarily. No, you just need to eat the, the, the yeah. high protein foods, high, like uh, legumes and uh, beans. beans. And, yeah, I, you know, you can eat the mock meats, which are made from soya protein, and you can have a uh, vegan protein powder, and you can have, um, you know, uh, seitan, which is super high in protein, which is wheat meat. So they take the protein from the wheat and they make meat from it. There's heaps of ways to increase your protein as a vegan. Uh, you don't need to eat huge amounts of food. Like, it's just, that's a myth. But like, have you ever I tried eat, being a vegan before? No, no, but I like I love, that's why I used I'm to bodybuild. I used to, I used to put on, I used to do weightlifting. I've done running, long distance running. Yeah, um, but you will not have that weight, you know what I'm saying? I want to yeah, be well, big. Yeah, I know you vegans that are much bigger never. than you. I know vegan, I've vegans never that are seen much bigger. Vegan, big. I can show you one right now if you want. Mm. Hench herbivore? My friend Hench herbivore, who's from the UK, his name's Paul Curtin. He's much bigger than you. I'm not saying that you're small. I'm just no, saying no, he's, a lot, he's a lot bigger than you. Um, yeah, this guy here. I mean, it's difficult, man. It's not difficult. Uh, we, he's he's oh. big. Um, there's another guy. Um, his name's. He's never eaten animals in his life. And his life. In, no, this guy here, Nima Dogada, he's never eating eaten any animals in his life. Um, oh. And. Nice. He's he's a uh, pro. He's 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 been in the a pro card for bodybuilding. So he he's looks good. So like you don't need to eat animals. This is what I'm saying. And 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 I can guarantee you that when you buy halal meat, they're not all being slaughtered orthodox halal. Like you you know when you see the the religious man and he holds them down and they and they don't see each other. No no no. You buy your halal meat from over here in the UK. Like yeah, you're not watching them be slaughtered. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't watch them be raised. Do you you have your eyes in the farm or do you trust the butcher? 
You trust the butcher? Of course not. Don't you don't see them, you don't know that they're not dying in fear, they, you don't know they don't see each other be killed, which is not, not halal. I think it's a right way to kill them, halal. I don't think there's a right way to kill someone who wants to live. He doesn't want to. Now, nah, just because it's why, passable. Why is he living? For what? Well, why are they living? Why are you like, living? Why are you living? I'm living, okay, I'm living to build. What do you do? Everything. Wait, 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 you're living to build? Yeah. You build this out? Did you build this? Yeah, you built a rocket ship no, before? Build, hey, you build a, uh, no, no, no. I'm Did you, 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 why do you live? No. You live, you're a human. Yeah, yeah. of course. But you're a, to build, you, I'll tell you why. You, 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 you experience reality, yeah? You experience yeah. this world like this. Yeah. Okay? Yeah, a pig experiences the world like this. I know you don't eat pigs, but uh, yeah, yeah, cows, yeah. they experience the world like this. Mm. They feel pain. I know they feel like They feel pain, yeah. yeah. They feel pleasure, happiness. Yeah. They care for their children. You've seen a cow with their, their young, they care for their young. Yeah. So God ma made them with all of, these, all of these qualities. They care for their young, they feel pain. They want to live, they don't want to die. That's why you have to be careful not to see, that, you know, you're making sure you don't make them scared or suffer as halal, yeah? Why are they living? So wait, wait, wait. Why did God make them to suffer, be scared, no, terrified, but also in the same, but also if made them. them in the right but, way, I don't, but, I don't want to interrupt you, but if you killed them in the right way, it's then they will not feel anything, no fear, nothing, just one time, you know. No, I've seen that. Like I've seen orthodox. No, I've seen orthodox halal slaughter. I've seen it. I've seen yeah. it multiple times, and they do get scared and they do suffer. Because it's when you slash some, proper, but when you slash someone, oh, I have seen it. They do suffer. I, I can show you I, now. I did like once. I can show you now. Like yeah. when you slash someone's throat, there's nerves in here. Yeah, but have you ever been cut before in the throat? No. Okay, but if you pinch here, you pinch here, you slash a really sharp knife, sharp as you can, Stanley knife. If it, it, you suffer or you, you choke on your blood, for starters, you choke on your blood before you die, so you're suffering. Yeah. You, there's nerves all in here, you're suffering. And if you have a knife cut across your windpipe through your main vein, you start losing blood, you start getting scared. What's happening to me? This guy's got me down and he slashed me through. You, you tell me, if I held you down, you didn't know. Say so you, you just woke up, I hold your eyes and I slash you across with a Stanley knife. You're not going to be scared? You're choking on your own blood, what's going on? Terrified? You no, may... I'm going to be dying. Yeah. I will not feel anything. Maybe you take a dog, right? I know dog's not halal, but let's just say we take a dog. Yeah. We slash their throat open quick, really, we say a prayer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Face make up, say the prayer. Slash their throat open. You don't think this dog's going to be <laughs> drowning on their own blood? Four or five, maybe 50 seconds, 30 seconds? Dog is different. No, the dog's the same, exactly the same. In the way they suffer, they want to live. I mean, like everything. Why is a dog different to a cow? Cow? Why are they different? Dog, they look like, different, but what, I mean, like, in the way that they suffer, they want to live. their life. I mean, yeah, like, but the dog is for something else. No, no, I'm not saying that. I'm saying that in the way they suffer, in the way they feel, I know you don't eat dogs. I know it's not halal, it's haram eat dog. I'm saying, I'm saying like, but in the way they experience reality. Yeah, I see, yeah. A lamb looks different to All a dog. The same, it's the same, yeah. okay. But, you know, I'm saying like, if you slash the dog's open, uh, throat open halal, they'll be scared and they'll drown in their own blood. Okay, so, so you can avoid that and still be a good Muslim in the eyes of God. God doesn't say, Allah doesn't say you have to eat animals, otherwise it's haram. You know. no. Say, okay, there's a, we don't want them to suffer. We want to do it this way. So why, are you, why are you going to all this trouble to not make an animal suffer when you can just not eat them? They don't suffer at all. It's always halal. halal. Vegan food is always halal. You never have to worry about how they're raised. If the if the, the butcher did the right job, did it, did it really quick. It's always like this. It's Since not. the beginning. Yeah, but like this. Have this is tradition, but you can change it. Look, you didn't have these headphones in the beginning. Uh, you know, you didn't have this mobile yeah, I phone. Know, I know, I okay, well, why don't you go back to the beginning? Original Muslim. Yeah. Original Muslim, where's your um, gown and your stick and, you know, no, 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 no. Yeah. You change with, you progress with technology. And yeah. if they wrote the, a different, say they like wrote a Quran these days, you can adapt, you can adapt. You can still be a good Muslim. You don't have to eat animals. So, you don't want to see this, this like, Oh, videos, wow. yes. This, this is what you don't agree with. I don't agree with even getting a sharp knife okay. and slashing an animal's throat open at all. But this is wrong, I know. This is wrong. Yeah, but you don't... Uh, what I see is it's fine to eat. Where, when you, where, did you, where did you eat today? Where did you go? Chicken. Uh, you got some chicken? Where from? Subway. Go to the... Oh, Subway chicken. Okay, that's halal. No, I don't think so. So you eat non-halal food at yeah, Subway? Yeah, sometimes, yeah. Yeah, okay. Because so I'm it's, in England, you know yeah, Ah, so you don't... You say, you so say brother, brother, brother. Yourself, so you told me at the start, right? Yeah. I, I, don't, I don't mind, I don't mind. Maybe you just said it, but, but you said that the, it's only halal. Yeah. And it's slaughtered orthodox halal. Mm -hmm. So you said sharp knife, they don't see anything. Uh, the slaughterhouses here don't slaughter their birds in the orthodox halal way. Yeah. They hang them up upside down, they slash it. I don't know, it's just like, have you ever seen birds be slaughtered here or raised here? Yeah. They're raised in factory farms here. So there's always suffering in factory farms. So you 
see that. And so you're not even living halal? Yeah. Do you drink alcohol? No. no. You don't drink alcohol ever? No. You, have you ever drunk alcohol? No. But, okay, but you eat haram chicken from Subway? Yeah. Okay. So you know, So what I'm saying is like... Haram. I say bismillah and then I eat... Uh, I don't have a oh, you say you say something yeah, yeah. beforehand and it yeah because yeah. I don't have a choice you know I'm not in my country. well at sub at, at subway you can have a vegan choice so you do have a choice at subway they've got the vegan patty and they've got the vegan less protein, meatless meatball less everything no there's not well there's less mo uh, yeah, protein yeah. in a yeah, yeah. Well, well, how much protein do you need dude I told you 160 grams you don't need more you don't that. need 300 more than that to build, to build muscle yeah. I showed yeah. you Hench Herbal he's not even eating 300 grams of protein he's he's this big the guy is this big he's this tall I know, he's, like, he's at least, Hench so was what, big. What should I eat if I want to turn to vegan? Yeah. And How I want to, start to build to muscles, you know what I'm saying? So do you, track your, do you track your protein on Chronometer? No. Do you use this app? So you can use this app here, like if you probably don't even know exactly how much protein you're getting a day, you're, you're assuming you're getting 300 grams, but you might not be. No, no, not 300, like 200. 200, yeah, 200. 200 is better. Yeah, 300 is ridiculous. Yeah. Like that's unhealthy, it's not, you don't need it. You, 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 you your, bo your body won't use it. Yeah. You won't use it. But you can use this app here. It's use it if I eat it. Your body won't use that much protein in a day. Um, it, it just, it, it can't. But here, here, this this up here, chronometer, nutrition tracker. Mm. Okay, so you can you can get you, you can put in all your stuff in, into the nutrition tracker. You can get vegan meat. Oh, you can get called? vegan chicken. It's called chronometer. 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 Yeah. Chron. I was I was getting 100 uh, between 150 180 grams of protein each day when I was training. You build it. Yeah, I was building muscle. I was, you know, I was training. I was look, I looked okay. I didn't. In the UK, it's good, you know, to be vegan because everything is available. In my country, you know, you don't have a choice. You don't have a lot of choice. You just said to me, right, when you're at Subway, that you don't have a choice between halal, to get halal, but you can always get vegan at Subway. Here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, in my country, when I go. Back, yeah. Where do you live? In Kuwait. 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 Yeah. Kuwait. I don't know. Yeah. Is it, wait, is Kuwait. Whereabouts is Kuwait? It's near, uh, next to uh, next Dubai. To Saudi. Dubai. Dubai. <laughs> Arab gold. So it's difficult. It's difficult. Yeah. It, it might be, but you can but get there lots there of, you get falafel, you get, is, is yeah, it falafel? Halloumi, uh, halloumi. halloumi is uh, not vegan. Halloumi is uh, made of dairy. So they kill those, they slaughter those dairy cows too. This is another thing, dairy, you drinking milk now? Yeah. So the dairy cows, the, yeah, the dairy cows, they, they had their calves taken okay. and then they, they take the milk. Okay. And then when they can't produce milk anymore, they slaughter them. They so say they bolt gun them and they slaughter them. So there's always suffering in dairy because they're taking the children after. They keep them pregnant, take the children. Keep them pregnant, take the children. Take the milk, take the milk. They, um, and then they slaughter them. So uh, uh, dairy, well, I don't I know. I don't drink milk always because uh, I, I drink, you know, the almond. Uh, yeah, that's good. Better. I don't like the milk yeah. always, you know, even with the protein shakes. And yeah. I mean, like, all I'm saying is, like, milk is suffering, and halal, it's not halal. Like, I mean, a good I, point, yeah. yeah, yeah, like, in I the, the egg know. industry yeah, is, make yeah, yeah. the egg industry is always suffering, because mm -hmm. these egg-laying hens, uh, they're, they're suffering in these, in these farms, in these barns, you never see it, you never see it with your eyes, and then they go get and slaughtered. Traders doesn't care about feelings or anything, just, they just sell and that's it, get money and that's it. If you think of your religion as yeah. trying its best to make the animal not suffer, you think of your religion, right? They're, they're, saying, they're saying, halal, you know, make sure they don't suffer, they don't see each other, they're not scared, okay? This is what they're trying to do. Yeah. It doesn't exist in this reality. It's watering, but in the, you know... They're trying to find the best way to take the animal's way. life because it's about compassion, yeah. okay? Then what's more compassionate about than just, not le than just leaving the animal as it is? And then... Leave him in the sanctuary, leave him be. Don't, ki don't, don't cut their head off at all. What's more compassionate what than what that? For? that uh... What for? What to, to, for? Well, why would you care if an animal suffers? I don't want him to suffer. I want so to why, why would you care? I want to eat him. That's it. Yeah, but you know you want to eat meat. You want to eat some tasty food. You want to eat tasty chicken. We can get tasty chicken vegan. You know, it's, just, it's made of soya beans. It's made yeah, of plants. Yeah, in Mac, in McDonald's, they have that vegan. Yeah, they, look. Vegan chicken? You can get... Eating animals' food, yeah? Oh, what's that? You're eating animals' yeah. food, yeah? No, no, no. Why, why? Because they eat plants? Yeah. I'd rather eat the plants than the animal. Yeah. yeah. So, wait, are you, are you are you against animal cruelty? No, of no. course I am. Okay, then why? I am against we, we are all against you are against animal cruelty? Yeah, but we eat. You eat the animals, yeah. so. It's in the in halal way. We are probably yeah, we just yeah. talked about halal. Yeah, we talked about halal. So, yeah. where did you. We kill them no pen easily. We so, don't 
Yeah, see, you guys electrocute them and stuff. We so where do you live? Where, where, do you, where are you eating here? Where are you eating here? Everywhere. Halal, halal Nando's. You halal. Have halal Nando's? Yeah, yeah you also uh, have meat liquor over here. They have uh, halal, halal chicken. Meat. Halal chicken. Okay, so have you seen halal slaughterhouses here in the UK? No. So you, how do you know they're, sauce, they're being slaughtered without pain? Well, uh, you're assuming. They're saying it's halal, so we eat. Yeah. It's their fault if it's not. They're negligent then. Well, wouldn't you, wouldn't you want to know? Of course. So you can't guarantee it to me? If I can't guarantee it and I can prove it, uh, I could, it could cost them millions because they claim it's halal. They're saying That's it's halal, illegal. But, they're, illegal, yeah. Yeah, but you don't yeah, even know what halal so guidelines are here. Culture and, uh, Halal, yeah. halal are the same oh, they're raised in farms. It's a misrepresentation. The, 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 it's illegal. These animals are raised in uh, in big factory farms. Halal, halal chickens. Yeah. Uh, you saying there's no suffering in a factory farm? Of course, there's suffering in there. That's how they make a living. And they cram them into trucks and they send them to a halal slaughterhouse to be hung upside down, have their throats slashed open and bleed out. Yes. Yeah, they, they die immediately. They don't feel it, any of that. Uh, they, they don't die immediately when they have their throat slashed open. They get electrically bathed, or they. Yeah, that, they we don't do we that. We don't do that. The That's not halal. Stuff, we don't Did do you, that. do you think That's they stun not... halal animals here? They stun halal animals here. We don't stun animals. So There's no stunning. There is in the UK. They stun. Well, they they do stun them. To do with the UK. No, the, so because you're eating. You're, if you're eating halal lamb here, they stun three quarters of those lambs. There's only one quarter of the lambs that aren't stunned here. Well, they have a different halal guidelines here in the UK. Well, it's but, their uh, problem, you know. It's their problem why, because why halal guidelines... Like so, but essentially, essentially, I can just get a bit, a bit of human flesh, put halal stamp on there, you'll trust me, and then you're eating it's a human... It's problem, it's not ours. It's halal guidelines problem, are the same. Illegal. Halal guidelines it's come from the Quran, it doesn't that. come from the country itself. It's illegal mm. it's, to it's do it's that. It's our religion mm. that says that. Yeah, but you, you know, you, I think when you think of halal, right, which is what we just discussed before, like I'm not a Muslim, but I, I looked into it a little bit because I'm an animal rights activist. I believe that animals yeah, deserve I, rights. I, so, but I've seen orthodox... And I, 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 saw, I literally saw a video of a guy putting his hands up a cow. What the hell was that? He's artificially inseminating the cow for dairy. So if you eat dairy products... Yeah, we don't do that. We don't do you don't eat any dairy? No, no cheese? No, of we course eat, we, we eat dairy, that, but... but we don't, we don't do that. that you, you, was, when you pay someone yeah. to for dairy, you're, you're funding this industry, so you, you have some responsibility here. But these industries don't exist without you guys paying for it. So when you see this guy fisting the cow, and you go in and buy dairy, you're, you're paying for this cow to be violated, have their calf taken, so they, ta they, they, they impregnate them, take the calf away. If the calf's a boy, they kill the calf, they shoot the calf on the farm. I don't know if that's halal. They shoot the calf on the farm, and it's then... It's not halal to shoot. Well, okay, well, if you're... I mean, if you're hunting a bird, maybe, that will okay. die immediately. You know. All I'm saying is, if you're a Muslim, you can be a Muslim and a vegan. The God doesn't no, say. Yeah, you can. Of course. Yes, you can. Yeah, you can. You can. It doesn't say in the Quran you, you must eat animals. Yeah, but it's not haram to be vegan. You're gonna have to See kill an animal in a nice, nice halal way. Nice talking to you. Peace, my brother. Take care. Take care. Did you take this information? You 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 don't have to eat meat to be a Muslim. You don't have to. It's not mandated. You don't no, say. It's not, I am. It's not, I am it's, it's not mandatory for right. you. Some people prefer not to eat meat because they have but cholesterol they love issues. Love okay, well here's a good one. If meat contains if if meat contains cholesterol and saturated fat, it gives us heart disease, the number one killer of human beings. Yeah, why I'm would aware. God, why would God, Allah, so intelli Almighty, intelligent God, yeah, yeah. create animals to eat for humans to eat that suffer, feel pain, and also contain cholesterol, saturated yeah. fat, which gives human beings the number one killer? Well, don't plant feed as well. No, 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 I'll ask you a question. We can go to plants if you think they feel pain. I think that's ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, okay, go ahead. Uh, I think it's, so you're, you're smiling because you think a carrot feels the same as, yeah, as a lamb. Yeah, it's yeah, ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's why there's no halal slaughter of carrots, is there? Yeah. Is okay. there halal slaughter of carrots? No, no, no. Okay. You're, you're okay. going somewhere else. Okay, well, let's stick here, stick here. Yeah. Heart disease, number one killer of human yes. beings on Earth. It is, indeed. Okay. You do not exercise if you don't do anything. No, 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 no. I mean, you I mean, don't, it does not, you can be exercising and eating bacon and get heart disease. ancestors your ancestors ate plants? Yeah, of course they did. Just plants. Yeah, they had a very high fibre diet. I mean, they didn't just eat plants. They didn't just eat plants. Just plants. But they also had a lifespan that was very low. They didn't have medic medicine and technology and they were dying really young. So I don't know if you want to do what the ancestors did. But if God created animals and products for you to eat, right, why is uh, heart disease the number one killer of humans? I can, you know, I'm going to take you 180 degrees away from this. God but doesn't also, that, does that God make sense, also, sir? God also created Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve, but that's okay. 
But this is Isn't it okay that's got to not meat. I'm not asking you. Same question. But, but, no, it's not. It's not. It's completely illogical. Kind of. I'm, I'm saying, is it logical that yeah. God created animals to eat that also kill human beings if we eat too many of them? I mean. You don't even have to eat too many, you just have to add cholesterol to your diet, it raises your blood serum cholesterol and, and clogs your arteries and kills us. It's the number one killer of human beings. Yeah, because it's all artificial now, isn't it? No, and all I'm saying, all right? Hormones added sugar. No, 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 it's got nothing to do with that. Get grass fed, get grass fed organic steak, it's got mean, cholesterol in it. Some app, even fruits have preservatives on them now. It's, it's got nothing to do with it. heart disease, doesn't have anything to do with Not preservatives. Disease, it's got it's, it's cholesterol with saturated fat. Cancerous diseases. Cholesterol and such, no, uh, cancer doesn't kill as many people as heart disease does in the world. It's heart disease is the number one killer. Hey? Heart disease is the number one killer of I human am, beings. I am with you. Yeah. I am with you. Lots of people have it uh, in their genes. So why the hell and would animals eating animals kill human so beings most, if it, you know? Most of those people are not educated. They don't move. They don't exercise. They don't do anything. Exercise is nothing they to do with it. They use the oil at ten times. But my friend, row. I'm telling you, exercise has got nothing to do with your arteries clogging. Hey, you got that, that Biggest Loser guy, in, um, the Biggest Loser trainer in America, he, got, he died, nearly died of a heart attack. He was 50 and he was fit as anything. Doesn't, your arteries can clog whether you move your body or not. Yeah, but do you see their diet? What do they eat those he's, he, he's a healthy guy. Yeah, what do Healthy, but he was eating steak, he was eating bacon, yeah, eating eggs. Four, four times a day, yeah? I don't know. I don't know, just probably a normal standard diet where you're eating... Yeah, uh, yeah. Their diet is not yeah, standard, he's yeah, bodybuilders. He wasn't a bodybuilder. He wasn't a bodybuilder. He wasn't a bodybuilder. He was a fitness instructor. Yeah, those guys. We'll flash him up on the. They eat six meals a day, and uh, they eat a lot. all of them contain meats. So, are you, are you saying that all these people are dying of heart disease? Are eating six meals of meat a day? No, no, not all. I'm not saying no. all. I'm, not I'm saying there's there's, there's definitely other lifestyle factors, but the biggest factor is your, your blood cholesterol being raised by saturated fat and cho dietary cholesterol, yeah, so why not which are in animal products. Yeah. So why not? promote, let's say, heart disease instead of... Well, I, I promote animal rights, okay? Yeah. I, I, I care about... I, I'm just asking you for logic, right? Now, you can look outside of your religion for logic, okay? Now, humans Even are... if you look in your religion, uh, it's against animal cruelty, I mean... Okay, yeah, if, yeah, exactly, if you okay. Feed, if you even just give water to a dog, that could, you know, there, something about heaven and doing that. Okay, you know, you're right? doing good for animals, okay? Yeah. Now, your religion is trying its best yeah. to, to, to make sure animals don't suffer. Okay, yeah. slash them really, really sharp knife. Don't let them get scared. Okay, why would we mass breed and put them in sheds and kill them en masse just so you can have a five minute meal well, if your religion cares it's about... I will, it's no, businesses. No, no, no. I want to talk about you. I want to talk about you. You're, yeah. because in, in, in our countries, we don't climb them and bust them. Where do you, where do you live? I'm, I live in Bahrain. So you, you live there now, yeah, that, that, so you're on holiday basically? Where? You're on holiday here? No, I'm studying here. You're studying here. So you're here, so, so right now in yeah. this country here, you're buying the meat and dairy from these, these farms and, that I'm showing? Uh, I mean, I just found out about this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I never knew this. Yeah. For example, fat fish, uh, I mean uh, fish fat. Omega-3s, like but you can get omega-3s from the same it's place the fish get it from. Where? The algae. And they make a... Uh, uh, algae based omega 3 supplements, so you don't have to murder the so fish, you don't take in. I'm not a fan of greens. What do you mean? Like, not a fan of green food in general. Well, you don't have to necessarily eat green food. I recommend eating some green food or you're going to be unhealthy. But yeah, I, know. I eat like a lot of um, a lot of bread, a lot of um, beans, a lot of uh, legumes, bread a lot of mock meats. It's full of carbs. The carbs aren't bad. Your brain it's runs into starch. Starch turns into fat. Same thing. Mm -hmm. Yes. If you eat too many, uh, too much, too many calories, you'll you'll gain fat. But I think carbohydrates have four calories per gram, and fat has nine calories per gram. And fat's already fat, so it's already going to store as fat. But uh, <laughs> it doesn't have to carbs go. Carbs don't fill you uh, up; they just last less. Well, than well, well fat. You know, no, no. I think uh, whole gr whole food carbohydrates like be beans and legumes and, and whole grains are really satiating. I, I, I say, if you go into Subway, right, you can get a vegan sub with a uh, meatless meatballs, right. And if you go into like uh, you can get a vegan pizza at Pizza Hut with vegan cheese. You can, these are all the, the swap outs, you know, there's, a, there's, there's ways you can eat if you want to be unhealthy, if you want to have a pizza with your friends that don't involve exploiting and killing animals. That's all I'm trying to, it's, it's just like, look, it, over here, when you, when you pick up a halal piece of meat, you can't guarantee where that's come from. You, unless you, you've slaughtered the animal yourself, even then, I'd still say, even if you, you slaughtered the animal yourself, it, it's completely needless. You don't need to. You don't need to cut an animal's head off to sustain yourself now. We've got technology, we've got access to food and water. True. 
you know, the, the Quran was written, I don't know when the Quran was written, a long time ago, right? Yeah. Now we have access to food, there's no survival, you don't have to live off the herd of lamb. You know, obviously they thought killing animals was wrong, otherwise they, they wouldn't be trying to find this amazing way of doing it where they're not scared and not suffering and all these things. So they think your religion even says that animals have enough moral value not to get them scared and make them suffer or cause them pain. Yes. Yeah. So they think they have moral value. So why not just avoid so eating them? So when, when you, when you, when, let's just say I pay him right now to stab you, right? Yeah. Uh, he's responsible for stabbing you, but yeah. he wouldn't have stabbed you unless I paid him. Okay. Yeah, so when you, when, me. yeah, so yeah, he still stabbed you. We're both responsible. We're, I'm responsible for paying him to stab you and yeah. he's responsible for stab. So when you go into the supermarket and you pick up, you, you pay someone to cut a chicken's head off, you're morally resp responsible for that industry. Like everyone is. Because without you guys, without all of us to say the whole of Leeds stop buying chicken, what are they going to do with the chicken farms here? So if, if you told him to stab me... No, I paid him. Yeah, if like you I paid him, him to stab me... As a, as a... So he could yeah. steal my shoe and sell it. So if I go to the supermarket and buy that shoe, I've supported you. Oh, he's, he bought the shoe. So yeah, so I bought the shoe. No, 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 I, I've just paid him to stab you so I can eat you. Oh, well, you can eat me, so yeah, I'm kind of <laughs> Well, that's what you're doing to a chicken. You're paying someone to stab well, them see, so you can I, eat them. I do agree with you to a so certain like, extent. So, like, if you, like, look, you didn't, let's just say, let's just use a, a, see, a bad, let's just yeah, use a horrible see, example see, like here. the fact that you're open-minded and yeah. you understand, uh, you're educated. Yeah. I'm aware, I'm yes. aware, I'm educated a little bit, like I'm not saying I, I know the, the Quran through and through, but I'm saying that the, I know that you can be vegan as a Muslim, I know that, that, that you know, there's this principle of animal cruelty somewhere in there that you believe. Yeah, We're against yeah you're against animal cruelty and the Quran... Yeah. And against the, killing uh, as well. Against killing. In any way or form. Even. Where is the most suffering and killing happening on Earth? To what? To animals? <laughs> animals and human. It's animals. Yep. It's one to three trillion marine animals and something like 74 billion land animals are being executed every single year. In the Middle East? Where? In the entire world. Okay. But where mostly in the world? The entire world. Uh, like, so it depends on the, how big the country is, obviously, it's just by population, but in the, in, on, in the entire world, it's, it's a one to three trillion marine animals and about 74 billion land animals. Yeah, see, for example, I'm against killing endangered species. Uh, Why? Because... Because you care about their species. Yeah, yeah okay. Obviously you don't I, want them I, I don't care about their species. I care about the individual. The individual? The, the, the individual being. Okay. It's like I don't care about a race of people. I care about the individuals within that race. Yeah. I care about all human beings and the individuals. They, they, they all deserve the yeah, same rights. I, I am so when, when you see like a rhinoceros and, and a pig, I think they both have equal moral value, even if the rhinoceros is endangered. Because I, because yeah, I could be yeah, like. But I, won't you focus more on that? Because you know, uh, we could. The, uh, the resources are scarce. You know, species you extinction, animal agriculture—they're yeah, yeah, both yeah, linked. You don't have enough money to support every single, you know, to, you know, to spread those TVs and posters uh, everywhere and uh, tell everyone about, uh, for example, let's say pigs. But you, you I do. I, I've I reached seven and a half million people a month on my Facebook. Yeah, yeah, yeah but... But and that's just me alone. There's a huge movement of us. So I we understand, could... but is it possible... I mean, <coughs> you prefer if it was an endangered species that, you know, you're telling people not to kill or if it's pigs. People already care about endangered species. I don't have to convince you shooting an uh, elephant yeah, is wrong. But in some do you countries, care about a chicken? In some countries, yeah, do, I do you care about a chicken. You d but you, yeah. you turn them into poo birds. and put them in the toilet. See, like I have birds. I have a cockatoo and a macaw. <laughs> Yeah, so they're no. I, I care about birds. you care about birds, yeah. but like when and you other species. but when you eat a, when you eat a chicken, you're not caring about that chicken. Well, uh, it's kind of dead. So how can I really care? Yeah, you paid for them to die. I or didn't you, pay for it to die. I just bought it from the supermarket. Yeah, but you you know what I'm saying. Supply and demand, supply and demand chain. You, you're paying for this industry to kill chickens for you. I mean, your shirt, your jacket, your shoes, your no. your, your cap. I've been doing this for a long time, my brother. Like this this argument here with uh. With so clothes, you buy your clothes and from well, even against uh, like in Islam, although most people don't follow this rule, but we we don't wear animal leather, leather or animal. Fur. Yeah, yeah, that's good. We're, we're against so that. Would you would you equate making fabric to executing trillions of animals a year? Would you say that's morally on par? The same thing? No. So, for example, you know those expensive jackets and stuff. I, I disagree. You know, you kill mm. an 
a rare animal like tigers, for example, uh, to make just a to make mm. some that, clothes. That That's stupid. Yeah. yeah. It's really so like killing an animal for their fur. Even, you know, uh, ivory trading. Hmm. So we don't wear we don't wear fur, wool, leather, down, silk, anything made from an animal. The point is the po the point. We had a good conversation. I enjoyed the conversation with you guys. Like, Same. look, I think you're good people. Like, I don't think you're bad bad we, people. We respect your uh, opinion, yeah. Your yeah. opinion. Yeah. I mean, we look, and uh, I do agree with you on some things. Yeah, like, look, so. it's pretty basic. Look, animals are being tortured and killed. They don't need to be. You can eat plants and you can be healthy and thrive. You know, and um, we don't have to mass holocaust trillions of sentient beings for a five minute sandwich that you'll forget about tomorrow. You know, I think it's a more compassionate way to live. So, uh, obviously, you know, Lewis Hamilton, yeah? Yeah. Uh, so, his dog, Roscoe, you know. I don't know his dog, but I know yeah, who he is. He said his dog is vegan now. Yeah. Yeah. yeah dogs can be plant based. Yeah. If they uh, formulate the diet think, correctly. Do you think um, the dog consented or. No, is that he's vegan? It doesn't matter. As long as a dog has a good well-being. You it, we, choose. Well, let me, let me put this to you then, because this is a good thought experiment here. How about I shoot a dog in the head, chop them up into pieces to feed that to the dog so the dog eats meat? Would you be okay with that? No. Why not? You're okay with feeding other animals to a dog? Mm. Chickens, pigs, cows, fish are all fed to dogs and cats. Is that okay? I'd say no. But, okay, uh, so in the wild, don't uh, dogs? Dogs don't exist in the wild. They're domesticated animals. They used to. Oh yeah, but I don't care what happened a million years ago. I care what's happening now. They're domesticated animals, so we should feed them ethically. When they're in your moral control, when they're when they're, you're morally culpable for the animals that you that are you're paying to kill to feed this animal. So if a dog can be healthy as a plant-based, you know, dogs are omnivores. They eat plants and um, meat. Yeah. So if you can formulate plants to contain all the nutrients that meat contains, you can take the fiber out, you can add more protein, you can add um, uh, supplements in there. Why not? Dog has good well-being. Dogs, vegan dogs can live long. So you know why I'm, I'm smiling now, you know? Why? You, I, I don't want to say that you've convinced me on some points, but I do agree with you on some yeah. points. I think about this. When people say, oh, cats, Cats, oh my god, the guy was feeding his cat vegan, right? Yeah. But if I was to go shoot a bunch of cats and feed it to that cat and say, okay, we'll yeah, feed the meat. I got that point. Speciesism yeah, is you're cool. you're right on that point. I so you know, like racism obviously is like dis uh, d uh, discriminating between races. And speciesism is discriminating between cats, pigs, dogs, fish, rhinoceros. As you said, endangered species, that's speciesism as well. I care about the tiger, I don't care about the pig, or, you know, most people don't. If there's just one last white rhino left, we do not focus on that. This is this is this is coming from like I know what you're saying like it, there's something sentiment okay we'll have a, I'm the last of my particular race okay and then there's you let's just say there's a lot more of your race yeah. okay now me and you are standing in the room who's got more moral, moral value who should we execute it's obviously should we just use it based on on the fact that I, I'm the last of my race that I, I get to survive or no but uh, I mean you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, it, it doesn't I, I carry it. moral weight. Yeah, I get it. Yeah. But uh, we have to. You have to go. <laughs> you know what, mate? Here you go. Thank you very this much. This has got some information on there. Thanks. Challenge 22. Really nice Thank talking you. to you. Nice talking Thank to you. Too. Thank you. And it's please blur. We'll blow your faces. Like what we had here was a productive conversation, and this can help so many people. You know how many Muslims follow me now, and like, we have these good conversations, and uh, I, think, uh, I think they're important to have. Yes. Especially when it comes to, this is an important issue, like no one really talks about the animal rights issue. We're talking about politics and all this other stuff at the moment. The animals too often get forgotten, you know what I mean? I and they don't have the voice, they can't talk e like us. Yeah, e even some people, hmm. some countries. So, yeah, exactly. There's some horrible things happen to humans as well. We can all agree that horrible things happen, most of us can agree ho horrible things happen to humans is bad, but most people would agree, would, wouldn't agree that horrible things happen to chickens is necessarily bad because they pay for it to happen, they eat their bodies and, you know. Yes. Hmm. I'm going to pack up now. Have a good one. Nice week. meeting you guys, take care. Okay, so we're packing up the screens now. We had a good day, good conversations. Um, I'm going to leave a link for Stands for Change guide down below. So if anyone wants to do something like this, look, I don't need a group of people to do this. I only need me and the stands and that's it. So if anyone wants to do it, I'll leave a little guide. You can find out what batteries I use, what TVs I use, stands. You can get these uh, signs printed. I've got all the templates down below, um, the, the, the brochures that I hand out to people. 
they'll all be in the same link. So check it out. You can start a little stands for change in your area, get these stands, get a table, hand out some food if you want. Do it all in your style. It's not an organization, it's just a little guide to help you do, it, do this. And I think it's really effective. So happy activism.